It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Northern Monk Brewing Company. It's a collaboration with Aunt Bessie's and it's the Jam Roly Poly Jam and Custard Pale Ale coming in at 5.7% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Love the artwork, it looks absolutely brilliant. Without further ado, let's get the can out into a glass and see what we get. We have, this is the dessert beer. We've just finished reviewing the Sunday dinner beer. Aunt Bessie's Northern Monk collaboration. Check it out on YouTube, it'll be up already. If you haven't seen the video yet. So, beer in the glass, it looks like we've got a three finger white head. Nice looking pale ale, good levels of carbonation, slow moving carbonation, nice hazy looking very very light amber straw coloured beer I'd say looks good let's get that all important aroma now oh, that smells brilliant jam and custard yeah this really I mean it's really jammy really jammy and really kind of custardy It reminds me of like a raspberry pavlova, 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 something like that. So brewers in this instant, they, instance, they generally use like ice cream concentrates to, to get these flavours into their beers. I only know that because I've brewed a few beers with with concentrates with ice cream concentrates and they generally do the trick yeah this is this is kind of really pumping out of me lots of vanilla lots of jamminess kind of tartness going on it smells good let's dive in cheers everybody Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, that's lovely. That is a lovely, refreshing, sweet but tart, kind of vanilla-like. It's a lovely beer. It's a lovely beer. Well done, Northern Monk. Well done, Aunt Bessie's. It's a bit of fun. We're in this kind of lockdown situation. It's April 2020 and... We're all in, in our houses, or a lot of us are in our houses, pulling our hair out. And it's just nice to, to not take life too seriously sometimes and just have a smile, just have a giggle. Um, well done, Northern Monk, for, for, for just having a bit of fun in these times. I'd say with the mouthfeel, the beer's been brewed with oats. Do you know, do you know when you, if you boil some oats and you get them into your, into your bowl after and you start tucking into them and then you go back to the pan later on and you've got all that kind of like white creaminess in, in the pan, the, the, the residue that's left in the pan. Well, that's, that's quite thick. That's quite kind of gloopy. And that's what, when you brew beer with oats, that's what you, you kind of get to get that mouthfeel, that kind of creamy depth. It's that kind of white residue, that, that creaminess that you get from oats that's generally left in the pan. It, it's good for body. It's good to add a lot of body to the beer. I like the vanilla. I, I mean, you definitely get the vanilla. You de definitely get the jamminess to the beer. Now, you can either get a jamminess from the beer by either using some kind of like ice cream concentrate, which I which I believe is has been used in this in this beer. I don't know for certain, but I'm going to guess on it. Or you can use hops. You can use kind of traditional British hops that will give you a, a, a jammy kind of tartness in the beer. I imagine there's quite a few hops in the beer, so it could be that the the vanilla and the jamminess, certainly the jamminess, would come from the hops. Nice and sweet. 
exactly what you want. So your roast dinner, it has a nice bitterness on the back end. This is more like, kind of like quite sweet. I mentioned it in the previous review of the Sunday dinner that I'll, I'll, I'll touch on it very, very quickly that Northern Monk and Brew be up there brewing some of the best beer in the world. They're right up there when they want to. With their patrons project, they brew some of the best beers in the world. I've had some absolute fantastic kind of stonkers from them. And then um, there's a side to know the monk that just wants to have a bit of fun. And I like that from the brewery. I think that that gives the brewery a lot of character. The fact that they don't want to be 100% serious all of the time. The fact that they can they can pull something like this out and, and just have a bit of fun. I think it's great. I think it's great. I really do. So, um, it's made with plum, apricot, st strawberry and custard. Uh, for dessert, we teamed up with Aunt Bessie's to brew a sweet, fruity pale ale based on the old school classic jam roly poly and custard. Do you know, I'm not sure I've ever had jam roly poly and custard. Generally, when I have a Sunday dinner, I'll have a mountain of roasties and, and a mountain of Yorkshire puddings, which is exactly what was brewed with that, that Sunday dinner. I'll just grab it just to show you. I've mentioned it enough now, haven't I? There's, there's a look at the tin. Have a look at that. If you've missed the, the, the review, have a look at the Sunday dinner brewed with Yorkshire puddings and roast potatoes. But generally, I don't have room for dessert. I'm not really a dessert type of guy. I'm kind of like mountain of potatoes, veg, Yorkshires and a, and a, and a pint of gravy all over the top, you know? That's my, it's one of my favourite meals of the week. Um, I know people who, who do have dessert. They have room for dessert, but... I, I'm so kind of like fixed on the main meal that I never have time for dessert. So it's nice, it's nice to have the, the, the main meal, if you like, the, the, the Sunday roast in a can, and now it's time for dessert. Great concept, lots of fun. Well done to Northern Monk on this. Thank you very much for sending the beer, by the way. Um, I tried order some, ordering some of these beers online after seeing Lad Bible, and they were all sold out. They must have sold out very, very quickly. So I sent an email over to Northern Monk and within a few days they sent me the beer. So thank you. Two thumbs up to, for, for me. A big thank you from me. Um, it was an independent beer review. It is an independent beer review. Um, it's just fun. It's just real good fun. Let's rate it. Cheers. Apricot. Plum and apricot. just like a jammy tartness I'm getting. A real sweet kind of raspberry jam flavours. Um, strawberries and custard. They haven't even got raspberries in there. Strawberries and custard. 5.7% um, ABV. So, I mean, they're not exactly like your lowest ABV beers either. They're quite, they got a nice kind of 5.7% ABV ring to them. So the, by the time you have the can you imagine Sunday afternoon? Sunday afternoon, you crack open the roast dinner for lunch, and then you crack open the the the, the jam roly poly and finish that one off. Five point seven percent ABV. Happy days. Happy days. I like it. It's a lot of fun. It's an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten for me. I give the Sunday roast a seven out of ten. I found that slightly better. Um, it's put me in a wonderful mood, to be honest. It's put me in a really kind of funny. Slightly kind of juvenile mood. 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.